We're hearing from another resident who lost everything in the 310 at Nulu apartment fire. The apartment caught fire early Monday morning, destroying all 37 of the building's units. We heard from one woman who says she narrowly escaped that night, and like so many others, she's still waiting to learn how it all happened. As the 310 at Nulu apartments are being torn down, you can still see the belongings of the many residents whose lives were turned upside down. We heard from another resident Sunday who asked not to be identified. She described the night of the fire. She was woken up in the middle of the night by someone knocking on doors to alert other residents. I went out to the hallway and the hallway was filling with smoke but the alarms weren't going off. She tried to get a hold of her two cats, managing to get one into its cat carrier. She tried frantically to catch the other as her apartment filled with smoke. Finally, she had to leave the animal behind. I had to leave because I felt like I was going to pass out. It was getting like really thick and I couldn't take a breath anymore. And so I, I just grabbed the cat and I threw one of my shoes that were by the door and I just went out the back exit. She managed to get outside and then collapsed from the smoke inhalation. A firefighter was shaking me to see if I was conscious and I remember someone holding my wrist and saying she has a pulse. She was transported to U of L hospital. I could see out the back of the ambulance and I could see the flames like I could see the flames shooting out from the top. Now, she says she's frustrated with how little information residents were given by the apartment's management company. She tells us residents weren't given any notice of when the building would be demolished. I got an email that said that they were securing a contractor, but then suddenly the whole place was already being destroyed. Now staying with a friend, she's starting over and searching for another place to stay. She says watching the demolition is painful. You can see so many people's possessions still in there and then just to see those machines going through just chomping away at what used to be people's lives. It's hard to fathom.